Hey guys, we're outside today. Uh, hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. We're outside today, so excuse my hair. Hi Marla, hi Flyer for Life. Um, we're up outside today, so like a live session. Um, just to get you guys updated, things are going very well. Um, all of the books are distributed throughout the country now, so you can check it exclusive books, bargain books, all over the place. The Millionaire at 22 or the How to Become a Millionaire at 22 um, is in bookshops nationwide. So that's great. We're going to also start a marketing campaign on that to, to notify everyone. And then we're seeing a few schools coming up. Um, the 28th, we're coming to Lady Brand. And um, then we're going to be in the Cape for a while. So the next live session next week will be from the Cape, uh, which will be great. So we'll do one on the beach. Uh, that will be awesome. And um, yeah, then also we're having an event on the 19th of October. So keep a watch on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Check it out. We're going to have a live um, seminar event. So that's going to be great. Um, so check the, the watch this space for more information real soon. Okay guys, so today's live session is based on um, a series that we've done with Pretoria FM. So we actually had three Mondays in a row now. We had a session on how to change your passion into a business. And that was the key topic of the whole session. And um, one of the aspects was that we discussed this week's Monday was a social media marketing or marketing in general and how to do that for your business. So yeah, we will talk about that guys, but if you have any questions, um, comment on the live feed and we will answer them live for you. So if you have any questions, just um, send them in and we will sort that out. Okay, great. So, <laughs> so um, let's talk about marketing for your business. Okay, so the first thing you need to get right is your brand look and feel. You need to have a proper brand look and feel so if you don't don't have any capital to actually go to a company to help you with this um, you need to call your aunt or your cousin you know that can actually do graphic design and just ask them to help you out a bit with your logo your look and feel and how your company looks because it's very 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 important to create a good first impression okay um, for example on Christmas um, what makes you excited about your present? It's not necessarily what's in the present, but the wrapping around the present. Hi Kevin, how's it going? Um, so, so your brand look and feel is so important for your business. It creates a good first impression, um, which lasts. So make sure your brand looks good. So um, get a graphic designer or get a company to help you out um, to, to look at your brand look and feel and to try and get your brand to look good and to look nice. Okay, that's the first step. Uh, then the second step is no print media. As a start, don't do print media. It costs a lot. If you spend like a thousand rand on flyers, you can maybe get a hundred or more printed and then you can only reach a hundred or more people. It's very unlikely that someone would take your flyer and give it to someone else. Whereas on social media or digital marketing, um, it can expand so quickly. So if one person likes what you're doing, they can share that to their social media page. And then all of their friends and connections can see that. And then they can share it and all of their friends. So you can see quickly, it can, it can, um, your marketing can grow exponentially. So I'll say focus on um, digital marketing instead of actual print media. Hi Shalandri, nice to see you online again. Um, so no print media, rather focus on digital marketing. So just to summarize for the new guys that just joined, we're talking a bit about marketing um, your business as, as you start. And the first thing we said is have a great brand image. Your brand needs to look good. The look and feel should be nice and good and yeah, excellent look. And then secondly, no print media, rather focus on digital media is way more powerful and less expensive. And with a thousand grand, you can reach about 45 or 50,000 people on, on Facebook. Whereas with flyers, you can only reach about a hundred. So it's much more optimized. 
Um, third thing, uh, third thing, we need to talk about the social media platforms. So the reason for social media platforms is twofold. One is so that you can reach so many more people. You can reach people in their living rooms, in their kitchens, in their uh, bedrooms, at work. You can reach them anywhere, okay? Because they are on social media platforms. So they scroll through the news feed at night. Any CEO or business person scrolls through the news feed at night and can see your product that you're marketing. The other part of the coin is that everyone can reach you. So if you are on Facebook, if you are on Instagram, if you are on YouTube, people would be able to reach you um, and find you online to read more about your business and to find out more about your business. So that's important as well. So the social media platforms is important so people can reach you and so that you can reach other people. Hi Rudy, nice for tuning in. Um, great, so, so that's, that's the two reasons why we have social media platforms. Okay, and then you can also put some paid marketing behind your social media marketing um, campaigns. Um, it works real nice. Um, Facebook and Instagram and Google helps you with that to actually put, to, to put money behind that and to target the correct people. You can target people by age, gender, location, interest, everything on social media. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining in. Um, so that's real important as well. Um, to, to be able to reach the people you need to reach. Okay, and then um, the, the fourth step is to actually create a following. So you need to tell companies why you do what you do and what you believe in, okay? Because if I'm an innovative person, if I'm an innovative person, I like to innovate, I'd rather buy from companies that's also innovative companies. So if you are an innovative company, Put that on your slogan, put that in your marketing. We innovate, we're innovators. And then you're gonna draw people that's also innovators and they're gonna purchase from you. And not only that, you, you create people that believe in what you do. And um, that creates power because that creates recurring sales. That creates people that not only buy your product the first time, but they become a brand ambassador because they believe in what you do and what you stand for is also what they stand for. So they resonate and that is what you want, brand ambassadors. Because let's take this example. Um, so if, if you want to buy a TV, right? You have the option between a Sony and a Samsung and you've done weeks of research on which one is the best and you've decided that the Samsung TV is the best. You've done your research and then um, you're gonna buy that one. But one night at a braai, just before you're gonna buy your Samsung TV the next day, your friend tells you, no man, buy the Sony, it's so much better. Two things are gonna happen. Either you're just gonna buy the Sony because your friend said so, and he's speaking from experience, or you're gonna scratch all your research and do all your research again, just to validate if that is true. And the reason for that is we believe what people in our community tell us. And we believe people that speak from experience. So if you can create brand ambassadors of your product and they talk about your product, you will definitely get very good word of mouth sales and marketing. Okay. And then the final one is you need to create value. You need to actually deliver on your marketing. So if you put some energy and resources and capital into marketing, you need to deliver on that and um, keep your customers happy. Guys, if you have any questions, send them in. We can discuss it as we go along and we can answer them as we speak. Um, so if you have any questions, just send them in and we'll talk about them. So just for everyone to, to uh, refresh what we've talked about now, we're talking about marketing in general. And I mentioned five steps that you should look at when marketing. And um, the first one is get your look and feel right. Okay, your business should look good, your logo should look good, your marketing should look good. Uh, the second one was um, have your social media platforms. It's so important to be able to reach people and for people to be able to reach you. And you can put paid advertising um, behind it, um, etc. Third one is don't use 
print media as a start. It's so expensive and you can get much better results on social media platforms. Um, also, make sure you have a website. People don't see your business as legit or as real if you don't have a website. So they want to Google you. So make sure you have one as well. Um, and then uh, the, uh, the fourth one was um, make sure you create a following and brand ambassadors that can talk about your product for word of mouth marketing. And then the final one was make sure you deliver a value product, a product that's really valuable and has value. Okay, so Solandria is asking if you look at the design for social media, do you have any tips? <laughs> Nicole is our designer at Gazzari, so maybe she should tell us <laughs> um, a lot of tips for social media design. Um, so yeah, just to some some backpedaling there. Um, I have a company called Gazzari. We do web development, social media marketing, and branding. Um, so Shalandri, a lot of tips. Uh, I think try to get the look and feel of your company right, um, depending on the market that you want to reach first. So if you're going for customer friendliness, if you're going for to undercut the market to be a little bit cheaper than than the other guys in your in your competition and to try and be a, a lot a lo uh, friendly and easy to use um, go for round effects on your design go for animation effects on your design go for light colors um, if you're going for a more corporate look and feel if you want to um, play in the big league um, maybe with financial firms, law firms, um, engineering firms, if that's your target market and maybe not the end user, then rather go for straight lines, um, corners, uh, dark colors, uh, more aggressive colors. Um, also a clean effect, not a lot of fluff. Um, but yeah, if you're going for the end user, the customer, um, rather a lot of round and you know, lighter colors and customer friendly type of animation images. So that's what you can look out when designing your, your social media. Also make sure that everything looks the same. Um, you should have standardization across all of your social media platforms. So your website should have the same look and feel as your Facebook page, as your Instagram page, as your Twitter, as your YouTube because that creates consistency and that creates trust. If you go on a company's Facebook page and then on their website and the two look completely different, then you'll start to think, oh, what are these guys up to? What are they doing? So if they look exactly the same, same color schemes, um, same type of imagery, um, then people can trust. Um, hi, Valjuri, nice to see you on, online as well. So then people can trust and, and uh, get a look uh, get an idea of what your company stands for across all platforms. So Solandria, I hope that answers your question. How did I do it? Nicole says I've done good. So great. So um, yeah, she's our designer at our company. So she focuses um, on the look and feel of our clients' ads and our clients' social media platforms. But Shalandri, very good question. It's very important to get your look and feel right. Um, especially when looking at your specific target market. So guys, if you have any questions, send them through. Um, today we talked a bit about marketing in general and um, we answered a few questions on how your social media should look and um, how your look and feel should be. Uh, if you have any more questions after the feed, uh, send them through on um, Instagram and Facebook as a direct message and then we can answer them. Great guys, thanks for the live session. I think it went well. Um, keep a lookout for our event on the 19th of October. It's gonna be a live event and um, we're gonna talk about how to start. How to start. Um, so that's the topic. Uh, key, uh, watch the space, we'll, we'll give some leaks as we go along about what it's gonna be about. And um, I, I'm so excited, it's gonna be amazing. Um, so keep a lookout for that and also keep a lookout for our social media platforms. As I said, the book is in stores now nationwide. So go to your book uh, store. If they don't have them, ask them why don't they have the millionaire at 22. So the book's name is How to Become a Millionaire at 22. If they don't have them, tell them to order them. <laughs> but they're in exclusive books, they're in Scoobs, they're in Bargain Books, CNA. they're in CNA, PNA, um, 
yeah, there's a few other stores as well where they are, um, but they're across the country. So go to your bo local bookstore and ask them, where's the How to Become a Millionaire 22? Great guys, uh, have a great week um, and um, enjoy the rest of the day. Awesome.